Hey guys, um, so one of the hits, one of the popular hits for my blog is fine color markers. Um, and somebody Googled fine color YouTube. And I realized I actually have a fair amount of fine color markers. So I thought it might be helpful if I did a little video comparing them for you guys. I have um, the original fine colors version one which look a lot like Copic sketches. I have version two fine color, which look a lot like Copic chows and come with their own carrying case. And I also have these touch markers, which um, don't really look like Copics necessarily, but they're meant to mimic Shin Han uh, twin touches. So um, I'm gonna go through them for you guys this evening. First off, are the original fine color markers. They're a twin tip marker that's available on AliExpress um, and I think it's also available on um, eBay but I got mine on AliExpress and it has a bullet nib and a chisel nib and they look a lot like Copic sketch markers. So there's your comparison. The uh, bullet nib has the gray stripe, just like the super brush nib on the Copic has the gray stripe. And they have um, color families, but they don't really have, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus for you guys. There we go. They don't really have co color names. And for these, I'm not really sure how the color families work. Next are my fine color sketches, which I'll be re reviewing in depth on the on my blog soon. Um, the post is written; it's in the queue. It just needs to come up. Um, and these do have color families. In fact, honestly, uh, the same is probably true for the um, fine color originals. Uh, but these came with a nice little. Huh. Ha! Okay, sorry. It's like, I know this came with two informational packets. I had to find the second one. Uh, these come with a chart that shows the color families. And I've sorted mine by their families and have held them together in their families with an eraser. And according to this information here, you can buy refills, you can buy them open stock, but I've never seen the refills or the open stock on AliExpress. As you can see, the the new version of the fine color, the sketch twin marker, looks a lot like a Copic Chow. Um, like a Copic Chow, there is an end that has the gray delineation. For the fine color, it's a bullet nib, and for the Chow, it's a super brush nib, like the Copic sketch. This is a fine color original. This is a fine color sketch side by side. They're about the same size. Um, the fine color sketch is slightly smaller, just like the Copic Chow is slightly smaller than the Copic um, sketch. Unlike my first set of um, fine colors, this, these are just in a box from the Dollar Tree because it didn't come with a case. The fine color, the new set of fine colors come in um, a variety of sizes. This is, I think it's the 60 piece set, but it might be the 72. <laughs> I knew at one time, I don't know right now. Uh, the case is lined, it's nylon, it's fairly sturdy, it has a handle. You would think, given the orientation of this case, it recommends that you store the markers upright, but really, you should be storing them like this. And there's even a place where you can write your name, which is pretty handy. And these are the touch, um, touch, Shinhan twin touch alike. They're Shanghai touch markers. And I just pulled out a uh, twin touch for comparison for you guys. The perks of reviewing markers is that you have a lot to compare to. So this is the body of the Shanghai touch. 
It's got a bullet nib and a chisel nib. Unlike the fine color, they have a... Uh, Oh, it was focusing. It has a color name and a color number. Unlike the fine color, I don't have any sort of a chart to help me determine the color families. You can kind of guess. Um, I ran, <laughs> confession, I ran out of rubber bands, so I didn't, these are not sorted. Um, this is a Shinhan Twin Touch, the brush tip, which are newer than the um, bullet tip. And I've reviewed these uh, fairly in depth on my blog, uh, comparing them to Copic sketch markers, because that's kind of what every everyone kind of knows about. Everyone's seen them. So, like the Twin Touch, they have a color number and a color name, and they're double sided. Um, I think once you've seen the body of the touch, which is actually kind of distinctive when it comes to alcohol-based markers, I don't know of any other markers that use this body, they look a lot different. They actually look like another marker I've recently reviewed, the Hobby Lobby Art Marker, and that's in the queue on my blog as well. Um, they're a little bit uncomfortable in the hand, uh, they're a little bit dry, it's a little harder to, um, put color down. If you guys give me a minute, I will come back with the sample, the field tests I created. So. That's my fine color sketch field test. Um, when you're coloring with bullet tip markers, it takes a lot longer to color than it does with a super brush because you have a smaller application of ink. Um, the markers are not too dry, but the bullet nib is very scratchy. It takes some breaking in, and I had to use a Copic colorless blender because my set of 72 does not did not come with a colorless blender. In fact, I'm not sure if Fine Color offers a colorless blender, but I'm sure one of you guys know, and I'd love to hear from you. Um, so they're they're okay. They're not good by any means, but they're not the worst I've ever tested either. Um, looking for the Shanghai test. Ah, here we go. All right. This is my Shanghai test. Um, these are very unsaturated. Like, um, the colors you end up with are just kind of grayish, even the skin tones. And um, rather than layering, it replaces the color. So I think there's probably a high, um, a higher alcohol blender to actual dye or pigment ratio in these than in other alcohol-based markers. Um, in terms of laying down ink, they perform very similarly to the fine colors I just showed you guys. Um, the body is a little unwieldy. If you have smaller hands, it's definitely unwieldy. It, it can be painful to use. My hand ended up hurting a lot after rendering this. So that's a very quick overview of the Fine Color Original, Fine Color Sketch, and Shanghai Touch markers. If you guys have any sp specific questions that are not answered by this video and are not answered by the post, please send me a, leave me a comment or uh, send me an email and I'll be happy to address them. Have a good afternoon, guys. Thanks.